goals to two in the last quarter. And now the highlights of the other three games played today. Footscray made a brilliant start to its clash with the Hawks at the Western Oval. Brian Cordy getting two valuable early goals. And over on the Doug Hawkins wing, the man himself was thrilling Bulldog supporters with some superbly judge marking. But Richard Loveridge stung the Hawks into action when they were three goals down. And this snap from Jamie Morrissey put them to within a goal at the first change. Simon Beasley's mark on the boundary line was a real line ball decision, but the spearhead threaded the needle with a fine kick. Brian Royal will visit VFL House on Monday night after this meeting with Collins. Chris Mew was proving a danger when he moved down the ground and this long bomb gave him his second and the Hawks had hit the front. Jason Dunstall wasn't his usual dominant self, but when the pressure was on, he was still able to bob up and kick a vital goal, giving Hawthorne a nine-point lead at the last change. The last quarter saw three reports. Firstly, Russell Green. Then Brian Cordy, and his resulted in a 50-metre penalty from which Peter Russo gold and sewed up the game. For the Doggies, Rick Kennedy had his name taken by the umpires, adding further disappointment to their 28-point loss. Down at Cadenia Park, there was plenty of early fire and the clash between the Cats and the Demons, and it certainly seemed that big boys Darren Flanagan and Steve O'Dwyer had little time for each other. The centre of the ground was in shocking condition, so much so that umpire Peter Carey momentarily looked more like Cinderella. Melbourne only managed one first quarter goal from Brian Wilson, but still trailed by only three points at quarter time. Neville Brun's chances of representing Victoria were dealt a blow in the second term, and Bruns was led from the field, seeing stars soon after. Melbourne had gone to the front, but a fine goal from Gary Cameron kept the Cats within reach. The third quarter was the decisive one, this goal from Gary Lyon being one of five for Melbourne, while Geelong could manage just one. But Lindner did at least manage a superb mark for Geelong. However, Graham Yates' grab was just as good. Melbourne drove home its advantage in the final quarter, the Cats having no answer as the Demons went on to record a 33-point win. At VFL Park, North's Mark R. Series celebrated his 50th game with a free kick and a goal in the match against the Lions. The Kangaroos were looking by far the better side in the opening term and if it wasn't for the efforts of Gary Pert, the Lions would have been in deeper trouble. In the second quarter, North continued to prove superior, and one reason for that was the play of Ian Fairley. Not only was he taking some good marks, Fairley's kicking for goal was spot on, and North led by six goals at half-time. Fitzroy lifted after the break, with Darren Kapler leading by example, but they were able to get no closer than 28 points at the final change. That margin was partly due to a fine passage of play, German to Clarkson to Love, for a very good kangaroo goal. North hammered the final nail into Fitzroy's coffin when Jimmy Cracker snapped truly in the final term. And when Mark Arceri produced yet another excellent passage of play on what had been a fine day for him, it was all over, North Melbourne winning their sixth match of the season by 39 points. Today's game.